Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Siren, and thank you for welcome back to Deck Profile Weekly video. <clears throat> so for this week's Deck Profile video, we have Stoicaea's Aurora and Brian Gates' Ava for our two-part Deck Profile Weekly. Now, I know this is kind of a late thing. Like I said, I keep saying this a lot in my videos lately, but a lot of movies lately have been have been kind of been delayed as of late. I'm sorry. But I also want to make a little statement as well. Um, before I get into this video. If you guys are going to just judge my videos. And dislike them automatically without giving them a second chance. Or just hear what to say. Sure, I know I have a speech problem right now. But I do try to make some sense about these new cards and their effects. And I know how difficult that can be sometimes but if you're going to just judge me based on my attitude my acts my my english my bad english a little bit you know and saying that these cards without the thing that might piss me off the most is when people don't give my cards a, like my deck profiles a chance you know i post these videos for everyone i don't do it out of you know just for the fame and stuff i just want to bring what what bring to the table pretty much and it does hurt when people just automatically see this video of mine and dislike it on the spot. I saw some likes that are, are very comforting. <laughs> but I kind of feel like the dislikes at first were just really hurtful. And I don't want to see the ghost of Danny Dane, you know, doing these videos again. At least, the thing that hurts most is that nobody seems to comment any of them. So I'm not sure if I did something bad to these videos or anything. So how should I know? But, you know, it does put a little mind-balling on me sometimes. But I try to think more positive about this, thinking that maybe this is fresh. It's freshly posted. Some shit like that happens, you know, when it comes to new videos. But it is what it is. But that's all I have to say about this video, you, or about that, that part, you guys. Let's get on to the video. <coughs> and I apologize if I sound kind of bad today. I have been sick for a couple of days so far. So, see what happens. So, for the lineup, we're going to be playing Bioroid Youth Rora. Grade 1 Rora, which is Awakened Iron Slumber from Slumber. Not Iron Slumber, I'm sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> when this unit. <clears throat> sorry. When this unit is placed on, by writing on top of Bioroid, Bioroid um, call up to one plant token from your back row center. Oh, to your back row center column. Yeah. Okay. So you guys already know that this video is based about plant tokens against like Neo Nectars from V series. So something new about that, which is awesome. Um, grade two, we have the World Three Thousand Years Later Aurora. Which is basically, when this unit is placed, placed on Vanguard Retire, one of your rear guards, and call up the two plant tokens to rear guard. So, that one there. And then finally, the, for the boss itself, for one for one's precious thing, Aurora. It's, um, for that skill, and I do have a copy of it to read. <sighs> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So, it's an active skill, one turn with a soul blast. And call up to three plant tokens to rear guard. I'm um, good. When this unit is attacked, retire one or more of your token units. And this unit gets 5,000 power in the end of battle for each retired for this cost. So it's about um, stirring your, 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 ugh, your board with plant tokens or any token units. And give Aurora 5k power for each one. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, that is the confirmed ride line for Aurora. And that's more fitting because I have the green sleeves. So now for the trigger lineup, which is the main deck itself. We're using four copies of Zismophilia Fairy Asher. Again, this is a, like a G Guardian kind of thing with a um, 15k shield. So like a G Guardian kind of thing. Now, the trigger lineup I did put on is four heals, 
uh, four draws, four crits, and three fronts, and an over trigger. Now, given this deck a little bit more of a versatile think about, that's probably why I just do it. So I'm playing Serene Maiden Lena for the draw draw effect, and also for the extra 5k shield, that's 10k shield by itself. Then we got the Soul uh, Soul Charger, which is Aspiring, Aspiring Mating Elena for 4 crits. Next we got 3 fronts, which is the Frenzy Eris, which is the 20k shield and also a front. And also we have the front, tr the over trigger, Source Dragon Deity of Blessings, Bless, fa bless Favor. You know, just because you can't have a deck without over trigger, pretty much. So yeah, this is my lineup I'm using currently right now. And I'm hoping by you testing out tomorrow and see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so we're using um, 16 grade ones in here. So the first one we're using right now is four copies of an adhesive thread monster. I could do a sticky. I don't know. This little mega colony unit. Um, her skill is is an active skill. It's a one turn only, but it's an active skill. Cataplast one, return two of your other rear guards, draw a card, and this unit gets plus five thousand power in the end of turn. Now, given our give a bit of an, an argument about that effect, you can play her at three of or a two of, depending on what you what you prefer. But I believe a four of is okay, mostly, just because you hardly ever do counterblasting in this deck as too much. Okay, let me rephrase that. You don't. Do too much count blasting in this deck, a lot retiring, but yet you can still use the token units to draw a card. So you don't have to use up too much of your um too much of your hand or too much of your other units. So tokens are essential. Next we have four copies of Knight of Nostalgia Marco. <coughs> now Marco's ability is when this unit is placed on rear guard, choose one of your, your grade one or less units, and it gets 5k power into in a turn. Now, believe it or not, you guys, this is one of the units I will try putting in with my Leonorn deck if I ever do get the decks right now, because right now money is tight. So that's what's kind of happening. But yes, this unit is perfect for Leonorn because he gives out 5k power to units, and what Leonorn's ability does, maybe you rest all three of you. Use three of your back row grade one units, and they transfer all their power to Leonorn, and she gets plus one drive. So, there you go. Do you have another unit that can actually use for Aurora and Leonorn? <laughs> Ow. Next, I have four copies of Stepping Clan Calyx, Selvia. What Selvia does is. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if your vanguard is grade 3 or greater, you may call a plant token to the rear guard. So she's a late gamer uh, unit. So you have to wait till the grade 3 rah 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 I can't speak that English. Anyway, sippy sippy. Okay. Okay, so yeah, she's a very late game unit. Because you're going to have to get up to grade 3 to use that skill. Or use her ability at least. Which is going to suck, but... Hell, you got two other units to help out too. <laughs> yeah. For our final grade ones, we're playing four copies of Complete Guard, Planar Prevent Dragon. Now, once I get the new Complete Guards, and I'm going to... Actually, I will be going to the mall today, to the shop today, and open some case of BT6. So if I get any of those Complete Guards, I'm, playing, I'm gathering all of them. And I need more... Criticals, more fronts, more draws, and like, I know, your girl ha needs a drink. There's too much shit to do. But yeah, this is just a lineup for grade ones. I, this is my own personal build. I know people have a lot of different opinions about it, but I I'm, can't wait to try it out. It's like, it's just a new experience. Don't knock it till you try it, pretty much. For grade two, we're playing four copies of Aurora's partner, Drag Raider Girl of Flame Blossoms, Radalina. It's her it's a duo nation, which is half Dragon Vampire and half Stokia. And her skill is her other one, if you do not have a Momoke token, cannabis one and call up to one 
Mama okay token. Mama okay? I don't know how you guys say it. It sounds like Hawaiian, like the Tuka kind of thing, but but yeah, I, that's her ability. And then her other skill is it's a glitter effect because it's Aurora. Rear guard ability. When this unit attacks, soul blast one. Choose one of your token units in the same column as this unit, and this unit gets the power of that unit until the end of that battle. So we got a plant token, we got a uh, Momoke token. So there you go. Next, we have four copies of Protopollian Ralphilias. I think that's what her name is. It's hard to spell these, to sound these names out. When this unit is placed on rear guard, count blast one and call up to two plant tokens. So again, more tokens. She lands them up, she kills them, she lands them up again. You get the gist of things. And then for our three copies are Tier Knight Fletchy, the Aqua Force unit. So we got uh, Dragon Empire, Neo Nectar, and also Aqua Force in this mix. A little bit. When this unit attacks a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard, this unit gets 5k power and stand battle for each of your token units. So. That's why we have Aurora and her and Renalina. We have them for lighting up all your tokens for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Kidding. That's stupid because, I don't know. People just say that weird shit a lot of time on TikTok. And I don't have TikTok. Alright, for, for our final units, we have a grade 3. And we're only three grade 3s. And that's just Aurora himself. So basically, that's all you kind of need in this deck. I, I can hear people say they want the flagship unit, um, the new flagship that we got in set 4, I believe. That's good for the other units, but I don't know. Like, I'll think about it, but right now, this is the deck I want to try out first before I go into any more further recipes, so to speak. And that's it for the grade. Um, oh, blech. I almost forgot. Sorry, guys. We got up to six plant tokens. So, six of them, guys. And we got four copies of Momoke. Just in case. So, we, were, we are running at least up to ten tokens here in, here in this deck. I don't think that's going to be that much of a problem now, would it? And that's how, that's officially it, you guys. That is the deck profile debut slash um, review on the deck itself. This is the Aurora, Aurora kind of thing. And believe it or not, you guys, I do love Neo Nectar personally because of Cecilia and the Maiden series. So this is very much hitting home to try out the V series more and do dabbling, more dabbling into that series more. Uh, hell, I have a lot of decks right now I need to start viewing. Fuck, I just realized that. But yeah, you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys do enjoy this video very much so. And again, sorry if I don't sound completely better. I'll try to get better as soon as possible. And as always, guys, there'll be a full deck list in the box down below. Go ahead and review that. Check it out. And please, please, I'm just asking you guys nicely as I can. Please, just review the video first before you start making your judgment, final judgments. Just see the list. Comment down below if you want to about what what um, what units are better for this deck. And I'll be more open to the idea. I am really open to the ideas, you guys. I am really am. And as always, subscribe to the video. Subscribe to my channel if you like the content I do create. Uh, like the thumbs up likes, thumbs up for this video. You know, you guys get you guys know how to do the drill. And yeah, I'm gonna try to finish these videos for today. <laughs> and try to get better, you know, try to get better. And, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it for today. And, thank, again, thank you guys for watching. I'm in your host, Siren Frost, signing out.